everybody's talking about the social emotional learning standards. Do we know what they are? Here's our quick video to learn. My name is Noelle Hoffmeister. I've been a teacher for over 20 years. I'm with Get Up and Teach. Would you please like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell so that every Wednesday you'll get an upload of a great video of teacher goodness to chew on education and emotions and where they come together. Here's a quick definition to get us started. Social emotional learning is the process through which children and adults understand themselves, their interaction with others, and the effects of their decisions. So in the old days, we called this character education. And before that, we just kind of assumed that parents were teaching their kids this at home. And lately, we've been doing a lot of, why can't you sit in your chair? Why can't you sit still? Why did you have an outburst? All of these questions related to kids' emotions. Clearly, there is a need for social emotional learning when we have the percentage of depression and anxiety among kids today. So there are commonly three buckets that the SELs fall under, and they are intrapersonal, interpersonal, and responsibility. Let's start by tackling intrapersonal. Do you have students that aren't completely aware of their feelings or the identification of their feelings? Do you have students who perhaps go from zero to 10 without being able to monitor those emotions before they get out of hand? Then intrapersonal is the place for you to start. Intrapersonal is all about things like management and focus and self-regulation and being able to figure out how you're feeling, why you're feeling that way and what to do about it. It's all about the knowledge of self, which a lot of our students really lack. Second, let's talk about interpersonal. So if intrapersonal is knowledge of self, interpersonal then has to do with my relationships with others, my communication, listening, being able to empathize, working together as a team, being able to see someone else's perspective, being able to see and celebrate diversity. All of these things fall under the interpersonal bucket. The last umbrella is under this responsibility piece. It involves being able to see past a decision to think about the effects of it. This would cut down on impulsiveness. This would lead us to good decisions, which leads us to good things. This piece also helps them to reflect, to become a person who does an action, thinks back, decides, was that effect what I wanted? And then being able to change minds or change positions to do something different if the outcome wasn't what they were planning on. Really in the end, it's the cycle of problem solving and reflecting and the social responsibility. So while those three headings may make sense and everyone's nodding their heads and saying, yes, my class needs that, and my class does too, the big thing to chew on for teachers is not so much what these are, but the big question is, how will we teach these skills to students in a way that sticks? How can we make sure these skills don't become add-ons that we ultimately abandon. Our students need these skills so much, and it's up to us to figure out how we cannot just teach them out of a workbook or a program. It's up to us to figure out how do I get you to apply these skills all day. It's up to us to train their thinking to use these skills so that we don't only use these skills for 20 minutes a day, because that's not going to help anybody. Thanks for joining me today on this quickie of what are the SELs? Would you please like, subscribe, comment? What questions do you have about the SELs? 
Are you wondering how you're gonna teach them in an effective way? Comment below so that we can make more content to serve you better. Jeez. Head to our website for more resources, www.getupandteach.com.